Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Let's Plant. My name is Chuck. Let's get started. But before we begin, a few things. First of which is I'd like to congratulate Denise of Given to Grow for starting her Let's Plant series. I enjoyed the first episode. And here's the other thing. You'll find out more about them in the latest recap. To put it simply, since the last episode, I sold lots of plants, I bought lots of plants, no net profit. Now we can actually start. It has been raining for the past few days, but today is just glorious, so I wouldn't want to be wasting this. In the last episode, I've been working on the spot along the fence, which is the Patreon Shrine, and I've been improving on it a lot. I've added a bunch of bowls, staged them all around. From there, what I need to do is detail work. But before I get there, I'm thinking of working on this spot for now. So I'm thinking of preparing some of the plants here for the deeper part of winter the colder parts and to do that I would need to reorganize some of the bits at the back and I was thinking that maybe I should be mounding that spot because from here the rains are only going to be worse and I've got a few plants that I want to put in there which are quite young so it only makes sense that I fix the soil now while I have the chance. As mentioned in previous episodes I'm going to create a mound at the back and to do that I'm going to use some of Tuscan rock create a border around it then backfill with a lot of soil, then plant in it. Basically, I'm creating a raised garden bed within this garden. Of course, first step, clearing the area up. And we're going to do that now. I've got a barbellion here, and this used to be much larger. Because in one of the past episodes, I reset this together with the afterglow. And it looks like it's only starting to recover now. And right next to it is this Verrugas. And I believe this is another Gibiflora hybrid, which means that, so like this one, this is also going to be huge. I was originally thinking of placing three plants at the back. So that would be the Barbellion, this Verrugas, and maybe the Paul Bunyan. But since they are all giant cultivars, there might not be enough space. So at the moment, I'm thinking just this two, but we'll have a look later on. But let's revisit that idea later on, once I've created the raised garden bed. But let's get these plants out for now. Thick root system, so this is really good. I think it's only been about two months or a month since I beheaded this. So this is really impressive.
When the little boss man wants to play, it's time to play. Right, Jack? This is the important part. The soil acts like a mortar holding them together. So if you're familiar with mortar, bricks and mortar, then the principle is exactly the same. What I'm doing is I'm bringing the soil really close to the rocks to hold them in place. Especially once I water them later on, they would be set like cement. And this is why I would need to fill this up, maybe make even a smaller mound on top of this. Just so, since I have a very loose soil medium here, once they settle, it, be, it will be going down a bit. So I need to add more soil than the level here.
special thanks to my patrons at you, Oscarino, Julie Seals, Nakui, Gloria Ninotti, Camille Narvaez, Linda, Tom, and everyone else. Thank you for supporting me on Patreon. And speaking of Patreon, I'll be working on this spot again next episode. I worked on Project Lux for now just so I can have the time to think about, to think more about this spot. But again, going back to the 12 Apostles, if you would remember, the rock formations were, the rock formations were surrounded by the sea. They were actually in the sea. And I'm thinking of emulating that by using blues, blue plants on the ground. And where can I find blue plants? I've got lots of them around here. I've got Echeveria imbricata, Echeveria glocca, Echeveria elegans, the blue chalk sticks, the sedum blue feather, and there's still a bunch of others here that I have that I haven't propagated yet. So there's lots of material to play with. I just have to figure out how to arrange them. So I'll be doing this by texture. Sedums are generally active during this time of year, during winter. So I hope that in the coming months there would be lots more plant material for me to work with. Otherwise, I would just have to go around the nurseries and hunt for them. This will be fun. Now in order for the soil to set and harden this barrier, I would need to water them now, spray some water, soak them. That way some of the soil will flow into the gaps and cement it in place. So with that said, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.